Good morning everyone, it's Sunday, it's range test time and finally it's a different car than an Audi. <laughs> I had Audi SQ6 and then Q6, so four weeks of Audi and in two weeks I will have six weeks of Audi. <laughs> I'm sorry but I have a streak with them, they give me cars, I'm very happy. This is the Kia EV6 rear wheel drive, the new version <coughs> 2025, it has a bigger battery. 84 kilowatt hours, 80 kilowatt hours can be used. Rear wheel drive with 168 kilowatts, that should be 239 horsepower. I'm gonna do 130 kilometers an hour range test with this car. I preheated the car at home with the, the app and preheated the, uh, the, so the battery and the car and then drove here, navigated here. It didn't preheat on the navigation here, even though it says battery temperature is middle, not perfect. Uh, plugged in, got 38 kilowatt, now I get 40 kilowatt at 89 percent. I'm at 791 volt. That's a high voltage, that's amazing. This car says it's still 28 minutes to 100 percent. We're gonna charge to that and then drive this little test and then arrive on the other side at the other Ionity on the same elevation and then we're gonna have some fun and test everything out, how everything is, if anything has changed. I'm on my way, driving 133 on the speedometer, that's 130 GPS. Just the first 10 kilometers uphill, as always, I'm in eco mode. I have the climate, ooh, I have to switch to driver only in auto two. Perfect, at 22 degrees, seat heater right now on two, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I can turn that already off, let's do that. I can see in my consumption window what my main power goes to. That's awesome. I charged 200% like I said. It was done earlier than it said. Uh, it even stopped charging. It said 99% and a second later it said 100. So it has maybe hasn't been charged 200% in a while, but that's okay. I'm at 75% and I drove 79 kilometers. What is that? Uh, 316? I think so. <laughs> Let's say 316 kilometers of range, 276 watt hours per kilometer is my consumption. It's, we started at 7 degrees, now it's 9 degrees out there. It was a perfect drive so far. I never had to slow down or speed up significantly. Amazing. I put my heat to 22 and a half degrees though. It's a bit uh, chilly in here. But it, right now it takes 1.1 kilowatt. That's still okay, but a nice drive. How is it to drive the Kia EV6 2025? And it's a great ride. So the suspension feels good. The steering is nice. The, the cruise control, it, it breaks a bit early when there's a car and when you accelerate and then you get off it gets a bit slower and then it speeds up not always the same way eh, the, but the almost the, 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 the normal reaction that it does so how it speeds up how it slows down is is okay self-steering is really good on the highway recognizes my touch 
I'm just slightly touching it. I like that. The lane, uh, uh, auto lane change I'm using that also. It takes a bit till it starts. So when you set the blinker till it goes out, it takes two seconds or so. But then it does it very nicely and very comfortably. I like that. I love the window here with the how much the drive takes and the uh, real-time consumption. That's awesome. What I'm not a fan of is the noise level in here and I measured it with my uh, I have a audio measuring device and it says it's not much louder than my ID7 or the Audi Q6 then I tested last week but it's the wind noise and the wind noise is high frequency and that feels like it's louder and when I listen to a podcast I have to turn it off I have to speak louder right now so it's the wind noise and the, the second thing that I'm not the greatest fan of is because of the form of the car, I feel like I'm up here. Uh, I feel like I'm, I'm extremely close and I am to the sun visor, what do you say, call this? And to the windshield. I mean, I can touch the windshield without going forward. Just like this, I, could, I can touch the windshield. And I feel like I'm sitting too high, I want to go lower, but I can't. And I want to go back, but with the steering wheel adjustment and the, the pedals, this is the, 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 best, the best spot for me. So, this is, I feel a bit cramped up here. I'm at 50% and I drove 163 kilometers. Our range got more. Um, that's 200, 326 kilometers of full range. Consumption 263 watt hours per kilometer right now. Drive is still amazing. Had to check up the heat again. 23 degrees because it's cold in here. I think every time when I put it down to 22, it turns on the AC automatically because it thinks it's hot in here. It's not. <laughs> uh, and the driver only is off. Why is that off? I didn't do that. Um, did that automatically when I changed the temperature? Is that possible? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's still not amazingly warm in here. But I leave it at 23 degrees now uh, because that's high already. I just turned around before that and navigated back to the charger and um, so I calculated uh, where I want to go out so 320 kilometers minus 30 as so I thought 290 kilometers should be okay to arrive under 10 percent but it told me 9 percent I will arrive uh, at the charger already long ago and then when I turned around here it told me I will arrive with 4 percent and right now it says five. It's 76 kilometers to go. So 5%, I want to arrive with around 10%. Uh, 11 is fine. So we'll see how correct this is. Uh, consumption is still around that same number. I'm at 38% now. 74 kilometers to go. Let's see if it, this is all correct and how it does it. Uh, I, I don't think it wants to preheat the battery. Let's look. EV settings and it's oh battery temperature low. So maybe it will preheat the battery. I will look, I will see. Hopefully I get a message in here. That would be nice. I like that. To know that it's too and if not, I can see it in the consumption as well. Maybe I then I am I don't know if I turn it off. We'll see. <laughs>
I ask this question every week. Do you want to charge for free? And it's a stupid question because of course you do. And how can you do that? With NCharge. NCharge is an app where when you use a charger, you rate the charger, you tell the charging provider if something is not working or if it's all perfect or what they can improve and stuff like this. And with this, you can get stars and kilometers. And with this, you can charge for free. Check the link in the description below to download the app. I arrived with 14%, drove 273.5 kilometers. Google Maps says it's 275 kilometers, 260 watt hours per kilometer was my average consumption. I calculated and I get to 300, around 320 kilometers of range in these conditions, 7 to 10 degrees Celsius. I have 20 inch winter tires on there. Uh, and the new rims that look nice. I was in eco mode, the heat at around 22 and a half degrees and this is what I got. And it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, um, I have ex has expected a bit more. I remember with the old uh, version, the all-wheel drive version, I got 300 kilometers in the summer. So this in the winter is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also rear wheel drive. Rear wheel drive is around 10%, 8, 10% more, more, normally more efficient. So to compare, I put the number of uh, this test today with the big battery and I will put the number of the old Kia EV6 in there. I have no idea when that was. It's very possible that this was extreme summer and now we're in spring. But I put them both in here so you can compare a bit. If you want to follow me on Instagram, BetterLife1, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.